The information contained in this video is not financial advice, and a failure to correctly utilize the processes outlined and networks used can result in the permanent loss of your crypto. Don't be an idiot. Follow the steps as given. So you've seen the streamers streaming it, and you've seen the people clicking it, and- <laughs> Oh! What? What? Is this a- Is this a new- New game? Sunflower land. Freaking game changer. This video is brought to you by Connects Bridge, a cheap easy routing tool that lets you move ETH, Bitcoin, and stables between all the hottest sidechains and mainnet, with complete transparency and of course low, low fees. Go to metamask.io in your browser and we're going to start a uh, gateway wallet that allows you to access the Polygon blockchain. So click on install metamask for Chrome. Click add to Chrome because yes, it is an extension. Uh, you can install this on Chrome, Firefox, Brave, whatever Chromium browser you like, uh, even Edge actually. And go ahead and turn on sync and it's gonna say welcome to MetaMask. So go ahead and click on get started. And if you already have a blockchain wallet, you can import it if you like. Otherwise just click on create a wallet to set up a new one. Now it's gonna give you a bunch of warnings. Uh, feel free to go ahead and agree to their concerns. Enter your own password. Um, you will not want to forget this, obviously, but it is technically not the most important thing, but you should keep it on hand. Agree to their terms of use and click create. After a moment, it'll load a video that, uh, you know, goes over a lot what I'm talking about here. And if you click here, it'll reveal your mnemonic phrase. These are 12 words that any blockchain wallet or any crypto wallet you create will require you to keep. You will want to write these down. Keep it in a notebook, keep it on a card close to your computer, but don't copy them into Google Drive, just write them down, because you're gonna need them eventually at some point. Go ahead and click next, and it'll ask you to enter that phrase again to confirm that you wrote it down. This is just a security verification to ensure that you actually did write it down. And it's going to remind you again, please make sure you back it up. Don't share it with anybody. I have a safety video, you should probably watch it. Now we need to add the Polygon network to our MetaMask wallet. You'll see it defaults to the Ethereum mainnet. So go ahead and click Add Network, and we're just going to type in Polygon or Polygon mainnet. Uh, both are perfectly fine. The URL is https colon slash slash polygon-rpc.com. The link will be below in the video description. It is chain ID 137. The currency symbol is Matic and the block explorer is https colon slash slash polygonscan.com. Go ahead and save that. And now you can see we have both the Ethereum mainnet and the Polygon mainnet as our available networks. Now, I got a pretty big video, you may have seen it, where I list off a lot of different exchanges, and you can find them on this video, and I'll link it above at the top right, uh, that support Polygon. You can just use one of those. I'm going to use AAX, uh, and all you're going to have to do is go into your MetaMask and just quickly log in there. And then once you're logged in on MetaMask, just tap where it says your account name right here, and it will copy that address and you can just slap that in to your send uh, box. Talk about how much you want. I'm just going to send one Matic because this is a demonstration. Uh, it costs me 0.1 Matic to send that off the AAX. Enter your confirmation details. Send it away. And in one brief moment, you will have... 0.9 of a Matic on Polygon. Now, these methods are all well and good if the exchange you want to send from actually has Polygon transactions and withdrawals enabled. But if it's like this week, uh, most of them don't. So we have to figure out a different way to get money out of our exchange and into Polygon. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your trading window on your favorite exchange. Uh, I'm going to use Binance in this example um, because they still have Polygon withdrawals disabled. I'm going to search for BNB. Uh, I'm going to trade it against BTC because that's just what I have in my wallet right now. But if you have USDT or USDC, you can probably trade it against that. I'm going to select uh, one of the high sell bids and I'm going to sell all of my BTC for BNB. So BNB is the native gas token of the Binance Smart Chain. And what we're going to do is we're going to route through there to get equivalent funds into Polygon. So what I want to do is click withdraw on my BNB and I'm going to select Binance Smart Chain or BEP20 protocol. This will allow me again to send it to the Binance Smart Chain, which is separate from the Binance Exchange. So this is pretty easy. Uh, if you have MetaMask set up, you can easily just click on your MetaMask wallet. You will have to add the BSC RPC to your MetaMask if you don't have it. Go ahead, paste your address in the address field. Click uh, on how much you want to send. I'm just going to send all of it. Why not? And then click withdraw. So, of course, this is going to do the usual Binance thing where you're going to have to enter a couple codes. So go ahead and do that. And then, of course, it will begin the withdrawal process. This will usually just take a couple minutes. Uh, BSC is relatively fast. Uh, click back into it and, you of course, see that I have a swack of BNB in my BSC wallet. So now you're going to want to go to PancakeSwap.Finance. This is one of the large DEX or decentralized exchange platforms on BSC. And we're going to trade our BNB to USDT. So remember, BNB is the gas token. That's why we sent this to BSC, even though you can just send USDT. I'm not going to trade all of it because you want to keep some gas. And I'm going to go ahead and click Swap. So approve your transaction. Click Confirm. The default gas in MetaMask should be fine. And within one short moment, you should have some USDT in your wallet. And of course, now we need to move those funds onto Polygon. So go to bridge.connext, not network, uh, today's video sponsor, and select BNB USDT and Polygon USDT. Click max or however much you want to send and then click approve USDT if it's your first time. You don't have to give them a full approval, but you can opt to have infinite approval. That's your option complete the transaction, go ahead, click swap, click confirm, and then again, confirm it for some relatively low gas fees. Now it's going to take a moment to load. Uh, it's going to connect you to the router that bid on your transfer. And then of course, after a moment or two, you will get to claim your funds. And after those funds are claimed, it'll take another moment and you will have a successful claim and the funds will be on Polygon. If I open up my wallet and then switch my network to Polygon, you can now see that that USDT has made its way there minus a small fee. So now that I'm on Polygon, I'm going to go to quickswap.exchange, which of course is one of the big DEXs on Polygon. And I'm going to select my USDT that I just moved over and I'm going to swap it to Matic. Now, here's the problem. You need Matic on Polygon to swap anything. So how do you get it? Well, I'm going to say join my Discord. If you go down to my utility channels, uh, there is a Polygon faucet that will give you 0 0.02 Matic, which is more than enough for you to be able to do this swap. It's tons, really. Go ahead, click swap after you get that, confirm, and of course, uh, you will have to approve the transaction. You know me, I like to bump things up by about 10 to 40, 40 whenever I'm on Polygon. Go ahead, click confirm, click close, and within moments, you will have more Matic on Polygon. Boom. Now to use this method, you can use any exchange that you have a token on. So I'm just going to buy a nice cheap transfer token. In this case, I'm going to buy XRP on MEXC. Uh, so I'll choose the XRP USDT pairing, and I'm just going to buy it at, you know, whatever the quickest price is. Um, so I'll go whoever's selling it for the cheapest amount. I'm just going to buy as much as possible, and it's been bought. So now if I go back into my wallet, you'll be able to see I have XRP there. Now, XRP isn't directly compatible with Polygon, so I'm going to have to use an intermediary. In this case, I'm going to use Sideshift.ai. And I'm going to click on the first one and select what token I need to send. Please note, Americans, you will need to use a VPN. I'm going to select XRP and I'm going to send my receive token as Matic on Polygon. 
Now I can either type in my receiving address, copy paste it, or if I already have MetaMask open, just click get address from MetaMask and it'll automatically import it. Go ahead and click shift and it will start the process. It'll ask you if you can allow your location and it's gonna give you a address to send to along with a memo because XRP uses a memo. So if you use XRP, don't forget the memo. You can click on copy and then paste the address, which is in the first field, and then paste the memo or tag, as they call it there, into the memo or tag field. They're both the same thing. Then you choose how much you wanna send. In this case, I'll just send all of it because I really don't care. And go ahead and click on send. Enter your information again and confirm, and it'll take a couple moments, but it will send through. If I go back over to sideshift.ai, you can see that it's waiting for me to receive it. And then once it receives it, it will start sending that Matic to me. And it's done. I should now have a significant amount more Matic in my wallet. And there it is. Of course, there are a lot of sites that let you buy Matic directly on Polygon, such as Mount Pelerin. You can just select buy Matic and it'll show up with Matic available to buy. Uh, Patri.ca for our Canadian users. You can again just select USDC on Polygon and use the conversion tool linked at the top right to convert it to Matic once on Polygon for free. Or you can use MoonPay, which is also available in the US, Australia. So you just search for Polygon and select Matic on Polygon. All right, now it's time to play. So let's make sure that we're logged into the Polygon mainnet uh, through MetaMask or our other Web3 wallet. Make sure you got some Matic on hand and let's go to sunflower-land.com. You'll see there's a beta link there because we're currently in beta. If you're watching this after the beta is over, there will be a join link. And of course, you'll have to sign in. It'll give you a quick uh, signature request. Click sign to give the site access to your wallet. And you're going to want to create a farm. Go ahead and click through on that. And of course, you're going to have to donate a little bit to play just like the first time. It is one Matic minimum, but you know, maybe give a little bit more. Uh, choose the project you like. You can check out the about button to uh, see what that project's all about. The water project is my personal favorite out of the two. I think it's a great thing they do. Click donate and play. And of course, it's going to pop a notification in MetaMask. If it doesn't pop up, make sure you click it on the top right from the widget and approve the use of that Matic so you can start creating your farm. Go ahead and click confirm. And it'll take a brief moment, and of course, it will push through. Make sure you add more gas to it if it's taking too long. And beauty, we now have a farm. And I got a little goblin here, and he's saying stuff, and holy crap, it's a whole new game. If you're new to all this, I definitely recommend you checking out my older videos as well about taking funds out of Polygon. Um, I have a pretty significantly large series on various use cases and various ways to do so. So go check out those uh, parts of my channel because they will be very informative if you're new. And definitely check out my video on how to stay safe on side chains and keep scammers from stealing your crypto.